If you're making plans to move to Phoenix, Arizona, this is the video for you. We will be talking about six steps to moving to Phoenix, Arizona. everybody my name is Brittany Badger and I am with eXp Realty right here in Phoenix Arizona if you are looking to know everything about Phoenix Arizona sleeping eating living playing in a city of Arizona playing in the city of Phoenix Arizona this is the right channel for you please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way Every time I come up with a new video, you will get notified to let you know that it is posted and ready to be watched. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you feel. You do you, boo. You do you. Honestly, we get so many phone calls and reach outs asking questions about moving to Phoenix, Arizona, and we absolutely love it. Not only because we love the business, but we love it because I know how you feel when you're trying to determine if you should move out of state. It's scary. It's exciting. It's a lot. So I totally get it. Make sure you reach out so that we can make sure that you get in the right area. Not even the right area. I'm going to stop saying that. that. That you get in the area that you want to be in. There's nothing worse than choosing to purchase a house in an area that you do not want to live in or that you find out that you don't want to live in. So make sure that you reach out to us. Give us a call. Give us an email. Give us a text message. However you want to get, rid of, get a hold of us, do it. So let's get into it. Six steps with moving to Phoenix, Arizona. Stay on, stay on top of your moving dates. There's nothing worse than you procrastinating than all of a sudden you move in two weeks. Could you imagine? I definitely wasn't in that position. We settled in on a moving date actually kind of early that once my husband got the news that we were relocating to Phoenix, Arizona, we well actually his company flew us out here. So we immediately started to take a look at the area, um, get to see different things. We spoke to a lot of his colleagues to see, you know, which part in Phoenix that they need the most coverage in so that we can make sure that we're working as a team with his company since they were paying for us to relocate out here. Uh, but once we decided on the location, then we chose a date. So we gave his employer out in California the San Diego team a date that we would be relocating and then we gave the management out here in Phoenix, Arizona the date that we would be moving out here. We did like a two-week gap in between as far as from his last day in San Diego and his first day in Phoenix only because I'm all about living a stressless life. There's no way to walk around life being stressed. So the fact that we were able to, you know what? I lied. It wasn't two weeks. It was a week. That's exactly what it was. It was a week. It, would, it was not two weeks. Scratch that. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> so it was one week. We did one week. Like his last day was like on a Thursday or something. So we moved over the weekend. Since we planned a day with his employment for a start date and an end date, we were able to have everything else fall into place. So that's step number one. Figure out a date that you will moving be with the Moving with the kids and the pets can be rough. So that was the second thing that we did. I made sure that my parents were able to watch the kids while 
my husband and I were able to do the bulk of the moving with the moving company. So that way we didn't have little guys running in and out of the house and getting in the mover's way, getting in my husband's way, getting in my way, asking, you know, I'm hungry. Can I go play? Where's the Wi-Fi? All types of questions. So we made sure that the kids were taken care of. Same with the dog. What happened with the dog? Did we have a dog? We did have a dog. Actually, Quinley, she stayed with my parents. So the kids and the dog stayed with my parents. Some people, they get, you know, a doggy hotel so that that way the doggy will not be in the way. However, we have kids. So the kids just stayed with the dog. Label, label, label. Label the boxes properly. There is nothing worse than having your two little kids in your head trying to find something and your husband trying to find something and you trying to figure out where something is. Why not label them by room? Even on the side of the box, list out the items. List out the items that are in the box. We started to pack up way in advance of our moving day just so that I was able to locate everything that I needed to locate. And actually what I did was I packed up all of the decorations first because of course the decorations, they can go up last. All of the essentials, I uh, didn't pack until like the day of or the day before just so that those boxes can be the first that I unload so that that way I will have those things in order. And actually what we did was we came out here with the moving truck before the kids were here and I unloaded everything for the kitchen and everything for the kids' bedroom while the movers were still moving in the furniture and moving in everything else. So that way the kitchen can be fully prepared and ready to make meals and the kids' room, they can be comfortable and they won't be in my hair. And when I say in my hair, literally in my hair. Make sure you transfer utilities and your mailing address. As far as utilities, like the electric and the water, of course, since you are moving out of state, it's not going to be with the same company. So we made sure that we canceled the utilities and uh, most of our subscriptions and our bills well in advance so that way we can get the most of our money back if there was a deposit involved. Sometimes if you only give a couple of days notice then they will keep your deposit. So with the cable we had to return the box. I have no I, I forgot completely who we used but we had to return the box for the cable and also for the internet. So um, with us figuring out exactly what we had to do in the last days of us being in California, that was a huge advantage because I was able to plan the drop-offs or the pickups of all of the stuff that we no longer needed. And as far as transferring the utilities, I called in advance to make sure that we transferred all of the bills into mine or my husband's name so that we can You want? Pour this inside the basket? Yeah. Okay. Wait. You can leave Quinley in here. Okay. Sure. With all of the utilities here in Phoenix, Arizona, I did call, well, I mean, probably about 45 days in advance. Some of them actually we had to do background um, checks on. I believe like for the water, we, oh, you know what it was? That if they did not do some type of like credit background check on us, then we would have to leave a deposit. But since they did do a credit background check and they saw that we were good for it, then we didn't have to leave a deposit. So all of that does take time. We had to schedule a date for them to come out and turn on the gas. So I 
uh, made sure that that date was the same day that we were moving. And now that I think about it, I did that with the electricity and the Wi-Fi also. Actually, no, the electricity was on before we moved out here. But as far as the Wi-Fi, you know, we are, I'm 36, my husband is 41, and we don't live in a world without internet. So we needed to make sure that once we got here, we'd have internet. Isn't that bad? That's so bad. Now, another step with moving to Phoenix, Arizona, make sure that you don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. This is a huge move. This is an exciting move. For me, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I am Brittany. And with being a wife and a mother, you're basically setting the tone for the rest of your family. So why stress about it? Why make it a dreadful situation? We planned well in advance so that I can try to make those special memories with my kids and my husband as we're moving here. There's nothing worse than having an angry mom or an angry wife only because she's stressed. Or dads. I'm sure, so sure, that there are dads out there that stress about the details. Maybe not as much as women, but I know me and a lot of my girlfriends, we stress about the details. So when it comes to moving, just let go of the details. Try to plan as much as you can in advance. But the day of, it's all right, go with the flow. It's not the end of the world. This is exciting. Make sure that you get a realtor when you're moving across the state. Do you wanna end up on a park bench? Do you wanna end up on the side of the road? Do you wanna end up sleeping in your car? <laughs> no. When we first moved out here, I had a realtor here in Phoenix check out a lot of the properties that we were interested in. She went with her iPhone or her video phone, whatever phone, you know, whatever phone she had, and she was on FaceTime with me while she checked out the house, while my husband and I decided if it was a good candidate for a house for us. And once we got here in Phoenix is when we looked at it in person. But the initial stages, <clears throat> she called us on FaceTime and we were able to look at the property, which was a huge advantage. I hope that other realtors do that. I know that I have done that for multiple clients here that I have had. And a lot of my colleagues has that huge part about being a realtor that focuses on clients who are relocating. I don't know what's going on with my voice. <clears throat> Let me try to get some coffee. Mama needs some coffee. Make sure that you have a realtor that is willing to put in that extra effort for you, that understands that moving across the state isn't easy and no one wants to move thousands of miles and be unhappy that if you move it's usually something that's exciting something that you're looking forward to and if it is a sad move i'm sorry and there should be a compassionate understanding realtor that you are working with so that they can make your experience the best possible but again Make sure that you reach out to us if you are thinking about moving to Phoenix, Arizona. You've got to call us. You've got to email us, shoot us a text, however you want to get a hold of us. However you want to get a hold of us, make sure you do. Send us a text, call, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, make sure that you do. We got your back by moving to Phoenix, Arizona. A happy new year. Thank you so much for taking part with me in this new adventure that I have with uh, having a YouTube channel. I am having a lot of fun and so are my kids as you can see with them coming in and out and giving me the privacy that I need. <laughs> but thank you. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 
I hope that 2022 is a good year for us all, that 2022 is the year that you are possibly able to relocate to Phoenix, Arizona, and hopefully I am able to serve as your realtor of choice. Have a good day. Happy New Year.